Hello, hello class. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the dynamics of uh, uniform circular motion. So this is the uh, application of uh, Newton's second law of motion or the law of acceleration. Okay, I hope my voice is loud enough to be heard. Ayan. So we'll be talking about the second law of uh, Newton's second law of motion or the law of acceleration, particularly in explaining no, the motion which we call uniform circular motion or UCM. It is an idealized motion, okay, idealized scenario, okay, once again, because in real life, it is quite, it's a bit difficult to, to keep something moving in a circle or in a curved path at constant speed. No? There are times na mausab yun siya. But since this is introductory physics, we're only focusing on idealized scenarios. And even the principles that we are learning in physics, these were all uh, studied in laboratories no? where the, the situation is really idealized. So UCM is one of the idealized uh, motion which we will always encounter. So, uh, kailan ba nag undergo ng UCM ang isang object? So, an object or a body undergoes or uh, this UCM is being undergone by an object when the object moves in a circular path. So, pwedeng complete circle talaga yung iikutan niya or it's just moving along a curved path. Kahit hindi buong circle path, kundi curve. Uh, and then, at constant speed. So, even if it's just a curved path, remember, if we compare a circle, I hope Wacom will make my circle. Uh, let's just assume it's a circle. So, a circular path, ito siya, compared with uh, a curved path. So, say for example, ito lang yung path. And then you have your particle. So, let's say this particle here moves uh, clockwise in this direction. So, ganyan siya. So, until Tail, dito na siya ngayon, and then jaan, and then it continues to move in a circular path. So yung circular path niya ngayon, of course, from the center to any uh, distance from the distance between the center and the circle, that's the radius of our path. So ganun din, if the particle is just trying to, to make a turn, no? say ito yung particle mo. So instead of going here straight, it has to change direction kasi muliko man siya. So this circle here, I mean this curved path here, uh, theoretically, any curved path is somehow a part of a complete circle. So kahit curved path siya, makonsider pa rin natin na uh, circular pa rin. So from that, meron pa rin siyang certain R. Okay? So for UCM, it's either the particle moves in a complete circle as it rotates, okay, or it can just be moving in a curved path. Pero the most important thing is its speed does not change. So in other words, this acceleration here, okay, uh, you might question uh, constant speed, but how come we are using the law of acceleration? Because as I've mentioned in... Uh, in the previous video, for a particle to accelerate, it can either have a constant speed, I mean constant direction, so straight line lang siya, pero changing yung, I will repeat this again and again para mag-sync in talaga na ang acceleration hindi lang sa pagbabago ng bilis. Ha? So you can have a constant direction and changing speed. This is the usual acceleration kind of acceleration that we encounter. No? So for example, you have a straight path and then the particle can either, let's say, start at a slow velocity and then at a certain time, it has gained a greater uh, speed. But if you notice, the, the direction doesn't change. So this is still accelerating. It's still accelerating along the x-axis. But particularly, the, the component of acceleration that is present here Okay, you have here A, if you recall, A parallel, meaning 
the acceleration component that is parallel to the velocity, they're going in the same direction. So in this case, this particle will speed up, but the direction does not change. Okay. The second uh, case of uh, acceleration, okay, what is it? You can have a constant speed this time. Okay. So the fastness that not, does not change, but you have a changing direction. So this is what happens in UCM. Constant speed changing direction. Because remember, acceleration is a vector quantity. It has magnitude and it has direction. I'm sorry, I'm talking about change. acceleration is change in velocity. So I have to be, sorry. Yeah. So acceleration is referring to a change in velocity per time. So kung average ito, okay? And then, so if we have a change in velocity, remember that velocity has magnitude and its magnitude is just referred to as speed and then direction. So if you want to have a change in the velocity per time para mag-accelerate ang particle mo, either ang magnitude ang babaguhin or direction or both. So for UCM, it's case number two, constant speed in a changing direction. So it can happen, it can happen in, let's say, ito, as the, let's say, for example, this one. If I'll show the velocity vector here, remember, velocity vector is always tangential to the path. So if it goes counterclockwise at this particular point, we'd say that this is the velocity vector, okay? At this point, dito siya. Yan, at this point, so it's always tangential to the path. Yan. So since the for UCM, hindi nagbabago ang speed, kundi ang direction lang, then it has to be that either that the particle moves in a circle or in a curved path. So what's responsible in making it change direction is the A perpendicular na component. So in this case, if this is the center, then the acceleration must be also towards the center. So ito yung A rad na tinatawag natin last time or A perpendicular, which is always making a 90 degree angle with the velocity. So pag andito siya ngayon, this is the acceleration. Okay, radial. Pagdating niya dito, acceleration, radial. It's called radial kasi nga it's always along the radius. So this is si A rad ngayon. This is responsible in Oh my god, ang ingay ng hang, ingay ng dog ng kapitbahay. Oh my gosh. Ah, my crisp is not working. Woo! Sige na lang. Okay, anyway, where was I? So the A radial here, radial, this is responsible I cannot concentrate. Responsible in changing the direction of the particle, the direction of the motion, the velocity. So there is no A parallel or A tangential. Woo! Yang ingay ng dog! So with the zero uh, uh, per parallel component here, then we are saying that the speed or the magnitude of the velocity is constant. Okay, so this is UCM. So let's focus further on uh, this UCM. So if you recall, okay, if we recall, um, so for UCM, if we show the acceleration vector, uh, A, we have A tangential component plus the A radial. The A tangential responsible in changing the speed. A radial is responsible in making the particle move in a circle or in a curved path. So this changes the direction of the motion. For UCM where speed is constant, there is no A parallel or A tangential. So the radial component of acceleration is itself the, oops, the acceleration vector. So further recalling, if we want to get the magnitude of the A-rad, I have discussed this in kinematics, 2D kinematics. So if you recall, acceleration radial is just uh, the square of the speed, the linear speed, divided by the, the radius of the path. Yan. So ito siya ngayon. 
let's say, for example, meron siyang velocity na ganyan, you get the magnitude of that, then that will be the linear speed. Okay? And then, the, the acceleration is always... Ay, ang inay ng dog! Woo! Annoyed. A radial, which is also equal to the... It's always 90 degrees. So remember, acceleration is just the effect. There has to be a cause. No? Meron dapat dahilan para mag-accelerate. Mag to accelerate means to change, to bring a change in the velocity. Meron pagbabago sa velocity. Dito, sa UCM, ang pagbabago ng velocity is sa direction niya. Hindi natin binabago yung magnitude niya. So, if you recall, Newton's second law, the total force okay, is in the same direction with the acceleration. So, you have the total force here. It's directly proportional to acceleration. So, what it, mass is scalar, so it has no direction. Therefore, whatever is the direction of the total force, that will also be the direction of the change in the velocity per time or the acceleration. Okay? So, for UCM, since acceleration is radial, so we say here that acceleration is radial, then we say, therefore, that the total force that causes the radial acceleration must also be radial. So I am now longer. I am no longer putting the summation sign here because the F radial is already the total force that is along the radius of the path. Okay. Now, radial. If you look at the radial acceleration here, it seeks the center. So it is center seeking. So center seeking is given a term, which is centripetal. So this A rad now, we will call this specifically as A centripetal. So this is centripetal, meaning center seeking, acceleration. So hindi nyo makakalimutan anong direction. At any point of the motion in UCM, the acceleration is always centripetal, meaning kung asang center, doon siya papunta. Kasi kung hindi, if the acceleration is not towards the center, then this object here cannot make liko. It will move here, oh, like that, tangential to the path. Okay? And then, si radial ngayon, tatawagin din nating F centripetal. So, completing second Newton's second law, we say that, oops, what does this tell us? It's saying that if you want a particle to move in a circle or to move in a curved path, then you have to have a total force that is also centripetal or towards the center. Now, this centripetal force class is not a, a new force. Okay? Basta ang isipin nyo, the centripetal force is the summation of the force that is going towards the center. Sometimes, the centripetal force is just composed of a single force. Kung isa lang ang force na papuntang center, sometimes naman it's more than one. So you just have to remember that the centripetal force is the summation of the forces that are going towards the center of the path. Okay, that's the definition of centripetal force. Pwedeng isang force lang, but pwedeng dalawa or more, centripetal man. Okay? So, uh, therefore, si centripetal force is equivalent now to, if you get the magnitude, okay, hindi ko lalagyan ng arrow sa taas kasi magnitude lang. Okay? We can express the centripetal force in terms of the speed, linear speed, and the radius. So, A centripetal, sinabi natin kanina, it's V squared over R. So, papalitan ko siya ngayon ng square ng speed over R. Ayan. So, this can be another uh, expression of the centripetal force. Yeah, it's mv squared over r. Where, uh, si linear speed can also be, so pag iikot ng isang buong ikot yung particle mo, isang buong ikot, and this is the radius. So remember, in one complete 
revolution, the distance traveled by the particle is equal to the circumference. So the circumference of the circle is given by 2 pi r. That's total distance divided by t for period. So we say here that t is the period. Uh, period is the time for one revolution or one cycle. For one complete cycle or revolution. So it, since it's time, then period is in second. Now, uh, P na lang siguro for period, no? Kasi we are using T for tension. Capital P na lang for period, guys. Para hindi tayo maguluhan. Ayan, P na lang. Okay? So, uh, that's period measured in, in second. And then, kung balik na rin natin, ilang beses bang iikot siya sa isang time, then that would be frequency. So, frequency. Root word is frequent. So, gaano ka-frequent? Ilang beses siya makaikot per time? So, symbol natin is F. It's just the reciprocal, of course, of period. So, you have. Ayan. Therefore, I'm sorry, P na lang pala P. Therefore, si period can also be the reciprocal of frequency. Okay, so this is the unit for frequency is 1 per second or you can also write it as second raised to negative 1 and these are all equivalent to a more commonly known uh, unit we know as hertz. Symbol is Hz for frequency. Pwede rin sabihin natin as uh, cycle or revolution per second. If there are frequencies na naka-RPM, like a uh, revolution per minute, then you have to convert it to RPS or, psych, or hertz, uh, revolution per second. Ayan. So, meaning... Um, the frequency, therefore, as the linear speed can also be, so you have 2 pi r over 1 over p. 1 over p is frequency. So linear speed can also be 2 pi r f if you're given the frequency. And then, si speed dito, pwede mong ilagay itong si 2 pi r over period and then you square it. Or 2 pi r f and then square it. So do not forget the squaring. Okay? So whatever, it, this will give you the magnitude. Okay? And then the direction is always centripetal or towards the center. Yan lang isipin niya. Okay? Now, um, what else? Uh, I want to, before tayo mag, ano nang, so, Meaning to say, when we speak of centripetal force, like what I mentioned, it's not uh, a new force, but it is equivalent to the summation of all the forces that are going towards the center. Towards center. Ayan. For our sign, sign convention, if the force is going uh, in Towards the center, so if the F is uh, towards the center, if a certain force is towards center, then we take it as uh, positive. If a certain force, this is the sign when you are attempting to get the summation, ha? Kung more than one ang forces na papuntang center. If it's away, from the center, it's centrifugal. Away from center, then we take is it as negative, and then we we add. So, uh, meaning to say, gagawa ka ng free body diagram mo. Same step pa rin. We still use the F. The we still sketch the FBD of our system, and then identify the forces that are regal. So once na ka FBD ka na, ano ba yung mga Regal forces. Identify the regal forces. And then these regal forces, this will be summed up. F, F, regal. 
Pag inad mo na yan, ito na nga yung mag equal ngayon sa mv squared over r. Okay? Or m a centripetal uh, m a centripetal. Okay? And then, so this is basically a Newton second law that explains the dynamics of circular motion. Uh, so, uh, for since the summation of force, when we speak of second law here in this case, if the summation of the force is constant, ito, kung constant ito, if the cause is constant, then the effect is also constant. So, for constant acceleration, then you can always use the constant acceleration equations kung kinakailangan. Constant acceleration equations, no? So, dinagdag na natin pag um, sa kinematics. Pwede natin gamitin yon. So, we're talking about uh, equation 1. Let's say we, what's equation 1? Uh, v final V2 squared, I'm sorry, V2 equals V initial plus acceleration time, yan, constant acceleration. And then equation 2, we have final position, kung along the x ito, a final position equals um, uh, x initial plus... V final, walang limit time. Sorry. Walang subscript pag final na lang. So, V final, pag merong ano, V initial. So, final position equals initial position plus V O X T plus 1 half. Kung along the X ito. Hindi. Okay, A X T squared. And then another constant acceleration equation na walang time. You have V final squared equals V O X squared uh, plus 2 acceleration. And then you have final minus initial position. Yeah. And then you can also have uh, final minus initial equals you have 1 half. V O X plus V X times time. Ayan. So there are cases na kailangan yung gamitin ito. I'm just saying na for constant uh, net force, you have constant acceleration. So pag constant acceleration, these four equations are always useful. Sometimes kasi tinatanong ano ang final velocity, ano ang time it takes, etc. etc. So in, the, in that kind of question, it's already a combination of the knowledge on uh, kinematics, ito, description of motion, and then you also have this dynamics, the uh, uh, Newton's laws and gagamitin. Okay? So that's, uh, th those are the most important uh, principles to consider when you are uh, analyzing systems that are uh, undergoing uniform circular motion. You can always use Newton's second law because the moment the object is rotating, it is a shout out that the velocity vector changes with time. No? Pag ikot niya, iba-iba yung direction. Although the, the magnitude does not change no? for UCM. So for accelerating systems, we always use Newton's second law. Okay? Ayan. Uh, I will have to stop at this point and then in my next video I will have I will discuss an example on uh, uniform circular motion a problem applying Newton's second law okay Ayan. so uh, again do not just rely on my input you have to read also okay until the next video